Hello there. I am Sean McLaren, and here I have a sweet, wicked sweet awesome deck um, built around the card as foretold. This deck is similar to Mono Blue Taking Turns, though if you've seen that deck. Time Walks are the name of the game for the deck, but we have some sweet new technology as well. Namely, as foretold, is uh, the deck is taking into account this card, and it should be very good in the deck, since we've um, got a lot of synergies with it. So, as foretold, just uh, on the surface, allows you to each each extra turn you take you're going to be ramping up the amount of mana you can cast with it um, the the first turn you untap with it you get to cast one drops then two drops three drops four drops five drops and so on and of course you can cast a spell on your turn and your opponent's turn which is good with say remand or cryptic command you get to basically leave up remand or cryptic command if you have enough counters to cast them. Um, so yeah, the real good thing about As Foretold is that on the turn you play it, you can immediately use it to cast your zero drop spells, which in this case are either Ancestral Vision or Restore Balance. As you can see, we have no white sources in the deck. The only way to cast Restore Balance is with As Foretold. Of course we can uh, also tutor for those cards with Teleria West so gives us a little bit more opportunity to draw those cards when we have our as foretold uh, so we have our one drops to help us find as foretold or whatever we need which is a lot of selection and of course just suspending ancestral on turn one is amazing and then it's also amazing at any other point in the game if you have as foretold out it's just Free, draw three cards. Pretty good. Other than that, we have Time Warps, Part the Water Veils. So taking extra turns is good with As Foretold, or Howling Mine, or ticking down your Suspend uh, counters. Your As Foretolds are going to tick up. You're going to get to draw extra cards with these. So that is kind of our a way to win, is get out some Howling Mines and start casting Time Warps. Uh, so, Savor the Moment is says take an extra turn. The issue being that you don't get to, you don't get an untap step. Of course, we're going to mitigate that drawback with As Foretold, because As Foretold uh, still gets a counter it, it, uh, when you cast Savor the Moment and take your extra turn. So, As Foretold continues ticking up even when your other lands don't untap. And of course, you'll still trigger Howling Mine or uh, remove counters from Ancestral Vision. So a potentially very powerful card that barely sees any other play. But here we're going to try and abuse it. So Cryptic Command is in the deck, mostly just to tap down your opponent's creatures and buy you more time, uh, sort of as a fog effect. But it is also very versatile. Can uh, bounce problem permanence or counter your opponent's problem spells. Uh, also have some card draw lands which sort of act as howling mind if you have a bit of extra mana left over or you, a bunch of as foretolds and you're free to use your actual mana for looting effects or card draw effects. And then we have our win conditions uh, which is Elixir of Immortality. Going through your entire deck is certainly one win condition. How do we win at that point? Well, ideally we awaken with Part the Water Veil, and Part the Water Veil is of course also just a more expensive time warp that is also a win condition once we have nine mana. And if we're out of Part the Water Veils because they do exile themselves, we can uh, deck our opponent w uh, with our lands and continue cycling Elixir of Immortality. But part the Water Veil is 
going to be our main win condition. Or the opponent conceding in disgust is also a good option. All right, the sideboard um, has some stuff in it. Um, not exactly sure what we want in the sideboard, but I picked an assortment of blue cards. Another elixir of immortality, going to be good versus burn, or just when you need two elixirs of immortality. Uh, Dispel and Swan Song to sort of protect our important cards or disrupt uh, opposing combo players. Same with Giga Drows, can sort of tap down our opponent's lands or creatures if we want that effect. Hercules Recall going to be mostly for affinity, but just an efficient blue card that we're going to want in a lot of matches. And Hibernation, same thing, but for green permanence. I suppose if we play Boggles, we'll be especially happy we have Hibernation. And Jace Bellerin, uh... X as a Howling Mine and a win condition, which is pretty nice post board. Uh, so yeah, that's the deck. I think you gotta see it in action to believe it. So let's play.